Good evening, Paul. <laughs> good evening, Pastor Shema Banjo. Nice to see you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for honoring Pastor Noel um, or Pasi, like they know him in Uganda and um, Kenya. Pastor Noel, like some call him. Thank you so much. Um, today is his 50th birthday, and um, we just want to thank God for his life. It's been um it's been an interesting journey, you know, and I just want to thank every one of you joining in this evening. I know it's um, morning for some people. It's afternoon for some people. It's even midnight for some people like um, the people from Singapore. OK, but nevertheless, thank you, everyone, for joining in. I just want us to just say a word of prayer as we proceed right now. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to celebrate your faithfulness over the life of your son. Lord, we thank you for the things that you have done. We thank you for the things that you're doing. And we thank you for the things, greater things that still lie ahead. Father, we just want to say thank you for the past 50 years. Lord, we give you all the praise and we honor you this evening in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Okay. Um, once again, for those joining in, thank you so much. But, uh, Pastor Balawa, good evening. Nice to see. Nice to see so many people I've not seen or, yeah, in years. Thank you, Pastor Joel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to run through. Pastor Olumide, Pastor Sheyi, Pastor Ove Daniels, Pastor Shego Koleno. Pastor Shell Di, wow, Shay Scott. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, just a minute. Thank you, everyone. Let me see those I see again. Okay, um, Debola, thank you. Oh, mommy, oh, thank you. Um, okay, let me see. I don't want to miss out anyone. Fosta, thank you. Olaleya Ruben, thank you. I can't call everyone by name. We will stay here all night long. But nevertheless, we just want to thank God for the life of um, Pastor Noel. Uh, Pastor Noel wears many hearts. Um, to some, is daddy. To some, is apostle. To some, is Pasi. To, to one, is dandy. To some, is um, a son. Um, to some, his uh, father, so many hearts, and we just want to thank God for his life today. And as we proceed with the meeting, okay, should I call it a meeting or a, <laughs> a virtual party? Okay, we just have one, two, three people who just want to say one or two things about um, um, the impact that, um, sorry, from time to time, I may call him Pasi. So when I say Pasi, I'm still talking about um, <laughs> the same person, okay? And so um, we have Lawrence uh, Uchena. Okay, is Uchena Lawrence. Are you in the house? Okay, I can see you here. Uchena, are you ready? Hi, good evening. Can everyone okay. hear me? Okay. Yes, loud and clear. If you don't oh, mind, you. you could turn on your video. Oh, yes. Thank you, Uchena. <laughs> Hi, good evening, everyone. Where are you joining in from, Uchena? Um, I'm joining from the United Kingdom, if switch oh. to be precisely. Okay. Uh, happy birthday, um, Apostle. And I just want to say thank you for being such a blessing to um, me and my family. Uh, I have many testimonies to give, but as I said, the one I would like is uh, me about getting married. I remember calling, and I was about getting married, and there was a, there was a lot of issues on the horizon, and um, I couldn't figure it out, and he prayed with me, and um. We went on, we did the wedding. The wedding was a success. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people, like, the, the wedding was amazing. But I think the remarkable thing was my wife. So my wife is someone who, yes, she's a Christian, but she's very skeptical of um, the African church. So um, Covenant Light Church sent us a present, and that really made a day. Like, it really made a day. It instantly changed her perspective when it comes to um African church. Even to the extent, sometimes she joins me now when I'm doing my comment, when I join, I'm um, listening to a comment like, or when I'm listening to a pastor now, because it's down there. Oh, is that Pastor Noah? And um, yeah, she was so happy for the lovely wedding gift. And um, I want to say thank you to our pastor and the lovely family we have at CZOC for putting that together for us. Thank, thank you, you so Uchena. Wow. Pastor Wega, Shukaya, I celebrate you. I see you. I celebrate you. 
Okay, from time to time, I'll just uh, celebrate people as I see them. I'm so excited tonight, even though I'm not the celebrant. I'm not the celebrant. I'm the celebrant's wife. Okay. Um, next, we have Pastor Edmond. Pastor Edmond, are you ready? Pastor Edmond. Wow, that's, that's okay. quite a Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. We know where you are. First, I want to say happy birthday to, um, like Pastor Buki said, to some is a father. To some, he's a pastor. For me, he's a father. He's not a, just a pastor, he's a father. And I want to say thank you, sir, for, for who you are, who you have been in my life. I, I know there are quite a lot of things to talk, to talk about, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I always say, almost practically every day, to people I pastor, to people I meet, that I don't think my story, I will be where I am today, if not that I met Pastor Noel. Um, I remember the first time we ever met, the first time we ever met was at Pastor Bookie's house. And then he was coming and, you know, <laughs> so he saw me at the door and then I walked past him, greeted him. So I paused and he paused and he said, you felt it, right? I said, yes. And that means you're my son. You know, I mean, since then he's been, you know, like I went to, I, I, I live with um, personnel, practically live in the house from the, I will never forget, 2003, December, eight months. And that eight months has been what changed, I mean, shaped my life today. I want to say thank you, sir, for giving your home. Thank you, sir, for being, you don't just preach, you know, you live the life. I remember the day I woke up to you at home, I was feeling so much because somebody I pastored earlier just saw me, you know, on the staircase in short, and bad, like, you know, I went out my eight and stuff. So I go home, you know, looking sad. And I said, what's going on? So I said, ah, this is what I saw to do. So I'm like, ah. What was wrong with you? Why are you feeling sad? That if I walk into church today, that was 2003, say if I walk into church today and somebody say, no, you're about me, and I'll greet the person and say, wow, I'll greet the person, but in my mind, I'll say, oh, that means you don't know anything, you're a fool. You know, I perceive people and I perceive myself. So I want to say thank you for everything. I join everyone in the world and, you know, people on this platform to say happy birthday, my work done, in a love and you're still doing. I want to just say thank you. You know, so I'll not take time, you know. I know somebody wants to say something, but I have a lot, but just let's just stop here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you so much, Pastor Edmond. I have someone else from Uganda, Esther. Esther, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. So I'd uh, love to thank Pasi. Um, to me, Pasi is more of a friend, was more of a friend than a pastor. I got to meet him in a very... Uh, Unwinding time. I think I was in a time where I was knowing and I, I met a friend. I didn't even know he was a pastor or an apostle by then. And he held my hand. He mentored me. He walked the path of uh, spiritualism with me. He helped me through my troubles at that time. He was literally more of a friend than a pastor or an apostle. And he has been more of a friend for me. Happy. <laughs> so happy birthday. <laughs> <Matt>. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, to me, Percy is like a more of a friend than an apostle. So it's really a privilege to even be speaking on your birthday right now. So big ups, Percy. Happy birthday. <laughs> and I know great things are coming. <laughs> great things are coming for you. Amen. That's all I okay, thank you, you, Esther. Uh, Pastor, yeah. you are my you there. You can unmute. Okay. Pastor, are you there? Okay. Um, okay, we'll just go on um, while we're waiting for Pastor Ayo Ashubo. I don't know if he's ready. My screen here. Okay, so um, like they all said, you know, I at the beginning I said that Pastor Noel is um, um, different things to different people. And um, I think I should even say something about him too, okay? I I remember my mom is in in the room actually. So let me watch what I say. So I remember when I first met him then back on campus, and um it was just this simple guy and um very simple. And um I think one of the things that attracted me to him was that simplicity. You know, this thing of when a guy is trying to, you know, um Toast the lady, you you tend to put yourself together. But he was down to earth. He was very, very, very um, down to earth. He was not for me or anything. And I remember one particular um, incident where we were, I think we were walking from 
Moremijo on campus back then. And um, um, back then, and uh, we were walking past the White House. For those who went to Ife, you understand what I'm saying. And there was, there's this particular fruit tree um, in front of the White, the White House building. And he just jumped up and he plucked a fruit. And I remember looking at him like, ah, what kind of guy is this one? As in, you're with a girl that you are still trying to, you know, and you're not even putting yourself together, trying to, you know, be the gentleman. And I looked at him, I said, you're not going to eat that fruit, are you? He said, watch me. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, now, um, this is not bad. But then at least this guy should put a little bit of, you know, um, tushness into this. And I remember times, you know, I know he has told this story before. I used to be very, very, very shy. And I really, really want to say thank you, um, Dandy, Pastor Noel, for that. I was a very, very shy person who didn't even believe in myself. And I remember the very first day I, I took a service. He was going to travel. And he said, Bukola, you're going to preach to, um, on Sunday. I said, not on your life. No way. There's no way I'm going to do this. He said, well, you're preaching this Sunday. And he traveled. And I was so sure that he had told somebody else, only to find out that I was the one that was going to take that service. And I think for me, that was the beginning because I remember that for days, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. My mind was on the service. I was like, what did this guy do to me? Okay, um, Turaya, I think someone is saying that um, the room has put a limit on the people that can enter. I think there are some people in the waiting room or something. Please, let's um, look into that. And so, um, and, I, and that was my first meeting that day. You know, I planned for days. And you can imagine, and for those of us who are pastors, I'm sure you will relate with this, that I remember that I prepared, it was supposed to be a 30 minutes message. And in, in 10 minutes, I was done. And I was like, God, what am I going to do? And I just remember just turning, thank God for King's Word. And that's one of the things that King's Word really drilled into us. Yeah, I'm muted, Pastor Buki. Okay. Okay, great. I don't know why I was muted. Okay. And, you know, I just turned it to, to, to a Holy Ghost meeting and that was it for me. And that was the beginning. And, you know, and so many of the things that I've also done that I know that without him pushing. And for those of you who have worked with Pastor Noel or pastored um, with him or that he pastored you, you will um, agree with me that Pastor Noel has this stand of when he believes that this is what God is saying, that is the end. I know times when you will say, do this. And I'm like, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think this is this. And that is it. And when I do it, I realize that, okay, yeah, this is it. This is that. And for me, that has been the push. And I want to say thank you for pushing me out I know sometimes the push can be rough. Sometimes the push can be painful, but thank you. We're still growing and we're still getting there. So I want to celebrate you, Pastor Noel. Thank you so much for answering the call. Thank you so much for being your true self. Thank you so much for being an amazing dad. Thank you so much for being an amazing pastor. Um, thank you for your big heart for people. You know, I tell people that I've never lived, I've been married for, almost 22 years, and I can't remember ever living alone in my house. We've always had people living with us. And that is personal for you, you know, that is personal for you. And I think it's one thing I've given up on that we'll ever have, maybe God will have mercy, God will have, you know, that we'll have a time that is just us. <laughs> you know, thank you for being there. Thank you for being an amazing person. Thank you for loving the Lord. Thank you for your big heart. Okay. So right now, uh, because we don't want this meeting to be that long. Pasi, are you in the house? Are you ready? I want to turn this over to the celebrant. 
Like I said, I'm not the celebrant. I'm the assistant celebrant. Woo! All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, that's my wife, by the way, in case any of you are getting ideas. Um, uh -oh. I... <laughs> so um, I am so sorry. I, I, I don't know what's happening. I wanted today to give everyone an opportunity to be part of this meeting. I hear that there are quite a number of people that are outside unable to join the meeting. If that can be changed somehow, I would truly, truly be grateful for that. Um, yes, so I wanted a very simple thing. Um, I asked for this meeting to be held this way. Um, it's just, like I said, uh, uh, sad that some people are not able to join in, but I wanted a very simple one hour meeting. And here's the reason. Um, yes, I'm clocking 50, but I have a covenant with God for 120 years. And I decided that um, I will celebrate halfway there, which is my 60th birthday. Um, however, I wanted to be able to say thank you, Lord, for this 50 years. And then I wanted to have you people, everyone that um, in any way I have been a blessing to. And you can also help me reach out to those who are in the waiting room, even if for some weird reason they are not able to join us, um, I, you know, that they join in the prayer. And whoever else, um, may not be here at this time, you know, the purpose of this meeting is really more not to not to talk, not basically about see what has happened, see what we have done, but more of gratitude first and foremost, but then uh, launching into the next phase because um, I do sense that there is a shift I do sense that there is a shift. And I wanted as many people to be part of it. Elijah said to Elisha, if you see me when I am taken up, he said, then you will receive the double portion. So because I sense in my spirit a shift in my calling, a shift in the anointing that is supposed to happen with this. Bible says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. So God is also in the business of numbering our days. So there are some things God has planned for 50, some things he has planned for 60. And when I began to sense a few weeks back that this 50th uh, birthday um, will... Okay, somebody is suggesting we stream on YouTube at the same time. Um, please, uh, let's see how we can do that. It's really, really, really important. It's my whole heart was about people if there are three of them, if there are 2,000 of them, being able to partake of that switch, you know, more than anything, I said I didn't want pomp and pageantry, I didn't want a fizzy, I didn't want noise, I didn't want anything. The two things that I want to see happen today is you guys praying for me and myself blessing you, and um, towards the end of it all, my own spiritual father would pray for me and bless me. And that's it. Um, most of you probably have heard from the testimonies. I, I'm very simple. I like substance. I prefer substance over form. I prefer, prefer substance over the show. And the substance today is really about that genuine, heartfelt blessing of me. You praying for me. You blessing me. Speaking into what God wants to see happen over the next 10 years speaking into that. And I want as many of you as you are praying, whether it's on YouTube or it is here, as many of you, or even maybe later when this is put on YouTube and someone accesses it, as many of you that do that, pray for me. And as you are praying, even now, whatever God speaks to you, whatever God shows, some of you flow in the gifts of the spirit, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the discerning of spirits, the gifts of revelation, 
whatever God begins to show you or God begins to speak to your heart, that is the key thing I'm looking for in this season. So you just type it in to that. Um, you type it into the comment section. Just type it as God gave it to you. It doesn't have to make sense. It may mean that it's making sense to me more than it does to you. So you type it into that uh, comment section as we begin to pray. And then um, we're gonna, there's going to be a switch and I begin to pray for you as well. And, um, in, and as I pray for you, I trust God for the flow of the gifts of the Spirit as well, uh, speaking you into your next level so that you can partake of that same grace. Like Elijah said to Elijah, if you see me when I'm taken up, there's something about seeing your man of God when he is taken up, when he is lifted, when he moves to his next level that helps you receive the mantle that is for you, for your own destiny. Elijah didn't run Elijah's destiny, but what he needed for his own destiny and assignment, he received it as he saw his master taken up. I trust God for a taking up today. And the same way Elisha walked with Elijah and, you know, received, he saw him through. He saw him through all of those. That's what you're doing right now as you're walking with me um, into this next level um, that God uh, has for me. All right. So I hope that is very clear. Once again, before we go into that, um, I, I want to thank uh, all those of you that testified and all of you that are here, actually, I want to thank you um, for, for, for being here. I, I'm seeing some people, I'm not able to call all their names, but I'm seeing some people from practically all over the world and I want to appreciate you. And um, Esther, particularly, some of you have had me tell the story of the Ugandan lady that I took a long walk with. And while we were walking, God began to talk to me about her. Well, today, that is the person, um, she didn't even know I was a pastor. She's currently one of our leaders in the Ugandan church. Um, and it began with a walk down the street and the gifts of the spirit um, operating. And God saying, that's one of your people. And she's been so faithful. So I appreciate all of you. Uh, Uche from the, from the uh, UK. Thank you, every one of you. All right. So we're going to do something now. Very simple. Like I said, substance over form. I deliberately requested that there be no, there'll be nothing extra other than the key issue, which is that praying. So wherever you are right now, I want you to begin um, to just speak what God is giving, putting in your heart. Just speak over my life. Speak over the next 10 years. The next time I'm doing this will be um, at the age of 60. Um, I will live out to 120 if Jesus tarries. There is no question about that. Um, so halfway there, we will do a lot of the celebration because we have crossed that whatever. And then we are now going to be going downstream. All right. Uh, um, so, but uh, um, right now we're not doing that. Right now we're still going upstream. That's why I don't want to celebrate yet. And that's what God showed me and what God told me to do. So go ahead wherever you are. And I'm just going to begin to speak in other tongues and receive as God is speaking through all of you. Um, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, hallelujah. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Pray about focus. Focus. The, the next 10 years, there are certain specific instructions that God has given me that will alter the way church is done in the body of Christ, that will impact it, not necessarily change everything, but I will impact it. And over the last 10 years, I have spent that time studying, learning, uh, trying different things. And as I step into this new year, God is telling me, it's now time to sit down with it and do it. Hallelujah. As you pray in the name of Jesus, get ready yourself because something is about to happen for you. Get ready yourself because you are about to step into some dangerous 
levels in your in the flow of God's grace and anointing through your life. Hallelujah. Ikaria mo ke zebrianande rebo shikali abrama ke seliana kataya lege vila broge velianande ge sida brafa reno shkaranande ge sita ekrianande ge zeli krabos ke telia mali enombra gajane mo kozialande le komon zebrianate ke poria maka shana ke to le ikamas ke lianande. I feel led of God to just go ahead. And, and 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 be blessing you as you are blessing me. Initially, I wanted to do it one at a time, but I, I'm beginning to hear words in my spirit for you. And so you go ahead as you are praying for me, type in what you are hearing in the spirit uh, uh, um, so that I'm going to read all of them. I'm going to read all of them. Um, this meeting is being recorded. I, I fully intend to read um, all that um, that have been written because I really know in my spirit that God is going to be speaking to me and speaking into my future through a lot of you. Because a lot of you have said, oh, you have blessed us. And God said, "From I'm going to bless you from where the place you have been blessing. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things that I sense in my spirit in this season, for those of you who have been connected with me, God spoke to me about this. And I believe it's going to be the experience. And I'm speaking it because God gave it to me right now to say to you. It's that the next, this next, you're stepping into seasons of ease. Seasons of ease. It, uh, you will be tempted to uh, um, begin to try and teach people how it is done because it happens easily. But um, you will need to be careful about that because it's not that there's a difference between then and now. It's that God brought and and God brought an ease. God brought uh, a wisdom, uh, His power and favor to bring about an ease. But I speak that in the name of Jesus Christ right now to everyone listening, everyone who is part of this. Uh-huh. Elevu vilia kabashana makaria nande gesida le koria ma akete le eketo. As I step into that faith, that phase where there cannot be contention, there cannot be resistance. I declare that over every one of you, you will not face that resistance. That that thing trying to stand in the way will give way for you. There will be that crushing anointing, that grace to crush what is in front of you and you will get things done. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I received that. Hallelujah. As you are giving, be receiving. As you are speaking what God is giving you to me, you be receiving what God has given me to you. Let's have that interchange. That is the key thing in this meeting. That's what I'm. That's what this meeting is all about, and it's the going to be the longest part of this meeting. Hallelujah. Mashida galigria nombre gedia. The slap of shame. The slap of shame. The slap of insults. The slap of shame. The hand that has been raised to cause shame towards you. In this season, by the reason of speed and by the reason of ease, those same hands will rise to join in the work and they will consider it a privilege. My Gabriane Keliavahakes Kerianonde. The laughter of mockery, Kerianan Gria de Brogo Doskete, Leeko Krianan Ketelia Mungu Buriana Katelia Mahai. The laughter of mockery will become the laughter of celebration. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because like, like Sarah said, those who laughed at me 
are now laughing with me. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Ige zuvria non prege do gilia catalamande. Elike kelia non prege si priama catiglionum brege dosca. Rehe he kelia cacazuzu vrianate. Malia gremonde. There's an anointing about children. It's an anointing about children that the Lord has, is bringing into my life um, over the next 10 years. My children are forming and taking shape. They are coming into their own. And there's an anointing for that. And every one of you under the sound of my voice, every one of you whose children are, are coming into that change of levels, they are, they are moving into where they are, where, 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 children that in the next 10 years would have had to change phase, change from one phase to the other. The anointing and grace, Marie Claire Prono, to manage that transition, and the anointing and grace for excellence for your children as they make that transition in the name of Jesus Christ. It will be your experience. Mi paziglia non prege du zovriate ke le moshta gaja, le gegelia magalia nandre gelea namahakaba, malieko franande gezilia na kodeli gelea prote ke mo, zuvalia galia pramahash ke renande gelea non gede, plegos keti, kilia non bragajidia mahakaya. Le nombre gelianande geliana ke zeliamoko zebranande. I see that turn around. There's a strong anointing about that. There's a strong grace about that uh, uh, shame turned to celebration. There's a strong grace for that. There's a strong grace for people who had mocked turning around. And there's a strong grace for ease and results. Ease and results in the name of Jesus Christ. And I hear God saying, be careful not to take the glory. Be careful not to become a, a, a specialist because of something God did. It's not your specialization. It is the doing of the Lord. Reke ke le broso koria baha sheke tele nombre. Sheke le nama kazele ne moko ze baladil. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's an augmenting. I just heard that in my spirit. There's an augmenting of, of, of flow of grace. And I know that sounds a little weird. But as clear as I know my name, I know that there is an, there is, you know, like the word I'm looking for, the word that is rising up in my spirit is, is fr a freshening, a refreshing, a refreshing of the oil. There's something about fresh oil, the way you will take the car in the morning and you change the oil and you top up the oil and you top up things in that car. Uh, that is happening to someone under the sound of my voice. There is an augmenting for the next phase in the name of Jesus Christ. Maria Mondelia Gabrama Agejelianande, Le Posa Valiata Cran and Keto Zoblama Cogelia Grante, Lenia Gobra Mande Gelianeke. There's some of you, there's someone listening to me um, that God is speaking to you about boldness in this season. God is speaking to you about boldness in this season uh, because of the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. Um, you have seen them happen if, when you didn't deliberately, you didn't choose to make them happen. You just knew something and it turned out to be exactly as you saw it. You saw something before it happened. You, you spoke some things. You just saw this gift in manifestation, but the limitation you have faced is that you have not stepped out in boldness. There's that fear of missing it, that fear of failing, that fear of being mocked and laughed at. And God is moving supernaturally on your behalf just here and just now to let you know if you will dare to just step out and dare to be bold, um, you will see and experience um, the multiplication of, of things in that regard in the name of Jesus Christ. Malie Gebrea Nombre Agashana Mahaske. Le cosa vrianande, gejida gamas coronate, 
Renault Stelianang, Gestilekeato Prianang, Suclo Brianake to Rabaka Shalamai, Ereke Kelebreno, Rekekula Patalamakus Velianate, Elzon Adria Gabrianon Dregezila Macora Brianande, Malakama Shalamaka La Brianande, Meko Brianante Gesula Mahaya. Remember to keep writing. Remember to keep writing what God is showing you as you are, as you are saying your amen and receiving. Remember to keep writing what God is speaking to you because, like I said, I'm going to be receiving all of that. My, my associates and, uh, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, staff are going to gather all of those things they're writing and they are going to be the prophetic direction and the prophetic uh, 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 word for the next 10 years. So keep writing what God is showing you and what God is saying to you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's an anointing for freshness. There's an anointing. There's a reinvigorating of lives, a reinvigorating of strength, reinvigoration going on. God is bringing new supplies. Hallelujah. For the journey ahead. For the journey ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Si la macora fragedola que se lianante, el zuclana maya gaprone que tolia mangra deliaca tozi, rea venombra gazelia nombra gashana mate, le cupo ziflea, le cofra non de desidia bara, maria baca shana namahase que tolia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to write. Continue to, to put those things down that God is giving to you. Um, I'm going to, because of time, I'm going to start saying some things um, that God spoke to me about and one of the reasons why I invited all of you into this gathering. Um, a lot of people, a lot of you have been uh, uh, touched, blessed, um, and there are a lot of them all over the world. Um, the uniqueness of my uh, apostolic ministry has been impact on people, and then they go start something, they go do something. Most people I have had to interact with on a close level um, go on to start a church or go on to lead a local assembly or go on to start a ministry somewhere. And so most of them are not within my local assembly. And, and I began to seek God about that. How, because there has been this disjoint, this disconnect uh, between myself and them because I have functioned primarily within the scope of my local assembly. And God spoke to me and said that um, in the, as I step into this next season, my assignment will have to, will go beyond my local assembly, and that a lot of the people that he had uh, connected with me, who call me father, call me uh, uh, their pastor, but are not within my local assembly, God told me that this next phase will be a phase where I get to also, in addition to my apostolic oversight of covenant light, but get to begin to pay attention to them. And um, we have not followed cunningly devised fables. So God uh, uh, spoke this to my spirit. And someone just said, focus on fatherhood. And that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what God showed me, that um, there will be that, there, there needs to be that um, expansion of the apostolic dimension um, to begin to support those who are even outside of my local assembly and see to the birthing and the multiplication of the things that he has also given them to do. Hallelujah. So to this end, I sought God about how to formalize that, that connection, how to uh, uh, make it something that is workable, um, and one word I had in my spirit is partnership. Now, we've all, in the past, we've seen partnership as simply you are supporting a ministry. But that's not what partnership is. Partnership is that we are partnering with someone 
There are people who partner and may never have sent any money, but there's a connecting of anointings. There's the joining together of anointing. So it's not about finances. Primarily, when you study partnership in the scriptures, it is an intersection of anointings. It is that the grace that is on my life and the things that God is doing in my life finds expression in another ministry, in another life, in another person um, through partnership. Now, it can happen through membership. Those who are under an anointing in a local assembly partake of the grace of their spiritual father and pastor. But then, through partnership, there can be the spread of grace beyond a local assembly. And God began to steer my heart towards partnership. Before we are done today, you're going to be given an opportunity to simply sign up. I have a WhatsApp group for partners that in this next phase, I am God is directing me to turn my focus as well um, into that. As much as we are planting churches and in, in East Africa and, and, and growing them, to turn my direction into that aspect of partnerships. I want to invite all of you um, to connect through that. Um, let me have a platform from which, please forget about money and what you are going to send. Or, no, partnership can be prayer. What you're doing right now, praying for me, is partnership. You are speaking into what God is asking me to do, and I am speaking into what God is asking you to do. That's partnership right there, all right? So don't, don't start thinking about finances. You know, you right now, um, before we are done, the link for our WhatsApp group is a WhatsApp group we created. We call it World Reach, World Reach. Um, I want to invite all of you to click on that link and, um, and be part of that. It allows me a platform to run through names, praying for you all, a platform to run through names, checking on each person and saying, yeah, we've not spoken in a while. Um, and because I know that there is a connection somehow um, that you also have indicated by your own choice. Yeah, that's the link right now. Become a partner of Apostle Noel. Click on that link. Now, my own spiritual father is in the house. Um, I want to confirm that he is still around. He's supposed to wind this up. Um, many years ago, before I introduced him, um, as I introduced him rather, Many years ago, I went on, I, I was on campus um, and uh, part one on campus, okay? And I remember before I went to school, this friend of mine who went to, I, had, I was delayed for a year. I didn't go straight from secondary school to university. So this friend of mine, this friend of mine, was telling me about this man of God, you know, who was also a student on campus. And he was, this, you know, and he was like, you need to meet this person when you come. So when I came in, he said, meet my pastor, you know, and he said, meet Pastor K. And because I had heard so much about his flow in the gifts of the spirit, particularly revelation gifts, they were so phenomenal. The, you know, down to mentioning names. There's somebody here, your name is this, there's, it point, will point to somebody at the sports center and say, that person, his son has this, his name is this, and all of that. And so I was, when I when I was introduced to him, I was like, okay, this man is just going to like tell me all of my sins. Because, you know, at that time, we used to think that the gift of the spirit was to, was to show, showcase your sins. And he just said to me, and that was what blew me away. And that's why I'm the way I am. Part of why I'm the way I am is that that's how I was raised. He said, have you eaten? That's not what man of God says to someone he just met. He said, have you eaten? He said, um, school, make him some food. <laughs> that was my first interaction with Reverend K. It was over food. He and I has had a lot of issues around food. Since then, I've been eating his food. Every um, opportunity I get. I was his PA for a while. Um, and one of the things that I remarkably I did in his life was that um, his food um, served him um, was never... Uh, never got to him full. <laughs> I always ate his food because that was how we met. Okay. And since then, uh, um, someone said the link is not connecting. I hope that um, that is being resolved. 
Um, since then, this man of God has been my disciple. He um, he would say, you know, when we talk about the fact that meetings don't disciple people, people disciple people. That one of the challenges, one of the things that God has called me in this next phase to emphasize in the body of Christ is people discipling people. When you ask Peter and James and John, tell us about your discipleship, they will not say Tuesday and Thursday meetings. They won't say Sunday and midweek services. They will say Jesus discipled us. They won't even know what you're talking about, about all the keys and all that for discipleship. They just knew that one man took them. He may have known the keys. They don't know those keys. But he took them and decided where he wanted to get them to and what it would take to get them there and took them on that journey. It took three years, but the world has not recovered from that. And I feel in my spirit that the world is waiting for that kind of discipling again in the body of Christ. And this was one man that that was a, that is an epitome, that is a, 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 a walking functioning image of that. He would say, here is this message by E.W. Kenyon. Go and, go and read it. He said, I'm starting you off with Kenneth Hagin. You know, and then he would say, listen to this message, listen to this message, listen to this Kenneth Copeland message and come back and we talk about it. Now, today we understand those things in detail, that there are critical keys to discipline, that having conversations after a person has listened to a message. But we didn't know then that we were being led of the spirit. He would say, listen to this message and we'll sit down and we will talk about what Kenneth Copeland said, what Kenneth Hagin said, where they disagree and where they agreed. And in those conversations, ladies and gentlemen, our lives were formed. Who we are today were formed in those conversations. And today, he remains my pastor. I have had invitations to be fathered by <laughs> different people. But we are, not, we are not sons that cause shame. Today, it's my honor as I celebrate my 50th birthday, to invite that person. He was one of the people that, that saw by the Holy Spirit um, that I and my wife were going to be married. And I remember going to my wife when I, when I was praying and God told me who my wife would be. Yes, God still tells people who their spouses will be, by the way. It wasn't an old style. you know. And I, and I went to him and I said, you know, God told me who my wife will be. Now, he didn't tell me who my wife, God, my, my spiritual father, Reverend K, didn't tell me who my wife would be. He just said who, and I, I mentioned the name, and he said, oh, we are just getting to know. I've never forgotten that statement. He said, so we are just getting to know. Look at you. And he laughed. And that was a confirmation for me. And I went and I proposed to my wife, one of the most beautiful proposals anybody has ever made. I asked her if God has spoken to her and me, to, to, to her, about me, her, and the ministry in Kenya. That was my proposal. And she shut it down immediately, of course. Um, and, you know, and I went back to my pastor. That, see the, what I'm talking about, life on life discipleship. I went back to him and I said, what's going on? She said, no, that God didn't speak to her about that. I, he said, what did you ask her? I said, did God, I asked her if God spoke to her about me, her, and Kenya. He looked at me with one look like, are you just, were you born yesterday? He said, who proposes to a woman like that? And that, well, the rest they say is history. Today we are married and we are getting stronger. Today we're 22 years in a few months and it's getting stronger and stronger. All right, so join me. I, I could go on and on for another one hour about him. Join me um, and welcome my spiritual father to pray for me and bless the house as well. Um, Dr. K. Ichisheson. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, happy, 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 happy. I feel like saying it 50 times. Happy birthday to Apostle Noel Manufor. You know, I sat down today and I was reflecting and it dawned on me that it's been 30 years. I literally met Pastor Noel, Apostle Noel at 20. And now he's 50. So I've known him for more than half of 
this time on, on hearts. And I want to join thousands of people all over the world who have been impacted by your ministry to say, what a joy, what, a, what an honor to experience and share life with you. I did a post for him earlier on today. And one of the things I said is, I'm glad a path crossed. Uh, it is a privilege and a great honor for me to have pastored, to have mentored, or to have sat in any capacity where this great man is concerned. He's a great man. He's a man that I share a lot of, a lot of amazing memories with. Uh, he, he was part of my grown men, if I remember very well. I, yes, I still remember the day I leaned on Pastor Buki's bed in Mozambique and I went into a trance and I saw both of them together and that day I knew they were going to be married but I kept it to myself and that was almost 30 years ago by the way and to be celebrating him on this 15th birthday, I count it a great privilege. And to be given a privilege and an opportunity to speak over him at 50 is a great honor. I don't take it for granted. Wherever you are joining me, whether you're from Uganda, you're in Kenya, you're in Nigeria, you're in the United Kingdom, you're in the United States, I want you to know that this is a prophetic moment. And the Lord spoke to me, said the words which you are going to be speaking over him He's not just going to touch him, but everybody that drinks from him, everybody that drinks from him, I speak as a prophet of God. As I was mm -hmm. speaking, I saw like, like a, a dam open. God spoke to me and said, there's going to be a release after today that will cause people to be launched into new expressions. God spoke to me and said, one of the things that will mark this day the night of April is going to be a season of unleashing and expressions on a new level. There are things that God has put inside some of you. You've been wondering, when am I going to start working it? I speak as a prophet of God. After today, you're going to step into that. I see people coming into financial expressions like never before. Because the Lord spoke to me, said one of the anointings I've placed upon him is to release people into their home. Where finances is concerned. I declare the name of Jesus that ideas you have carried for so long. I speak in my Amen. capacity as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, that things will open up, things will fit in together. Everybody that is supposed to be involved and associated with those ideas will come together. I have the Lord say, say, it's a season of partnership. For some of you, those say the Lord, the reason why the things I've spoken to you have not come to pass is because you've been running lonely. But those say the Lord, in this season of partnership, I will bring people to you to harvest Amen. with you. This, when the harvest came, to Peter, after he launched into the deep, what I gave him was not just for him, it's for a community. Thus said the Lord, he said, what I've given to you will involve a, com a community. So you must be sensitive to the community that have been called alongside with you. The same way those four lepers walked into harvest that they knew nothing about, but by the grace of God, they experienced what they could not be responsible for is initially in the flesh they want to start on it. But they knew about us. Thank God they, they came to an understanding that it is not good if we keep it to ourselves. God said the Lord, one of the secrets of financial abundance in this season is the ability to recognize that what is given to you is not just for you, but for the community that is connected to you. God said the Lord, you will see the people that are supposed to be involved with you. And as you connect beyond you, you will begin to walk in habits that will blow your mind. The leads you in your hand will be Become mighty, God will raise your voice, God will connect you appropriately and make you to be a mega voice in your generation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Lord Jesus. There are some things the Lord spoke to me as I was preparing for this meeting, and I'm going to be proclaiming it prophetically over Apostle Noel. God spoke to me, He said, You are coming to a season of great speed, and He gave me first yes, chapter 18 about. Yes. Yes, the yes. same way the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he began to run. And he, he, he outrun the, the, the best back with the natural. The, the chariot of Ahab could not match Elijah's speed. He said, you are coming into a season of great speed. By the hand of the Lord, what should normally be done in seven years, you will do it in seven months. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Father, it's Hallelujah. It's seven months. It will be a, seven months of recovery, of our recouping, recovery and re that's one. It will, be, it's a, it will be a season of supernatural strength. In Joshua chapter 14, verse 11, Caleb says something amazing. He said, as my strength was 40 years ago, that's the same way my strength is now. In other words, the, the mortality that was supposed to break him down could not break him down. He was kept strong by the vision that God gave him in terms of the mountain he was supposed to possess. I had the Lord saying, he said, I will give you unusual supernatural strength that will translate even into natural health. He said, the life of God will strengthen your cells, your tissues, your organs, and your system. Normally, the breakdown that happens to people at 50 will not happen to you. Amen. Your strength Amen. will be naturally of health. Your health will not fail. And to support local medicals. Whosoever is doing it will be shocked because you will show figures and numbers of a young man, said the Lord. <laughs> the third thing I want to say is it's going to now this word as it's coming to him is touching everyone that is connected to his loins. Now he says it's going to be a season of clear vision. Clear vision in Genesis mm -hmm. chapter 13, verse 14. The Lord took Abraham to an express. He said, yes, Sing to the Lord. Lord. Yes, so shall you possess. I declare in the name of Jesus that in this season you will have unusual supernatural capacity to see what mm. God has. Amen. And as you pronounce it, there will be a manifestation everywhere. The whole thing is there's going to be a season of supernatural discernment. Discernment is a function of divine wisdom. He said that there will be such an unusual working of the wisdom of God in your life that will cause Amen. you to judge accurately. You will Amen. know. You know. The Bible says, come something about Jesus. He said, he said, Jesus knew the act of men, so he will not commit himself to their hands. I said, by the Spirit, you will know who to appoint, who to ordain, who to delegate you. Embrolo supernatural discernment. The fifth one is uncommon harvest. I had the Lord say, every seed that's been sown, every seed that is due, to translate into harvest, I declare this season you will see such manifestation causing you to live everywhere in the name of Jesus. All the one said your teaching anointing is about to go off the roof to a whole new level. I had in my spirit revelatory capacity, oh, yeah. capacity to know into the mysteries of God and communicate it with simplicity for a generation to come into an understanding and walk in what God has called them into. And the last one is a season to race leaders like never before. I stand in my oh, office as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ and I release you into the fullness of divine capacity to raise Amen. men everywhere. Amen. Everywhere. Such an unusual capacity Amen. by the Amen. Spirit of the Lord. And I end with Amen. this from Numbers chapter 6 and verse 24. May the Lord bless you. May the Amen. Lord keep you. Amen. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. Amen. Be gracious to you. May Amen. the Lord cause his countenance rise upon you. Amen. And give you peace. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Welcome Hallelujah. to your season Hallelujah. of royalty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome Thank you. to your season of royalty. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. I am honored as always, delighted. And let me say here in front of everyone, um, like I said to you many years ago, God has called me to be part of your own journey to serve you. And it doesn't matter where I am, whether I'm in King's Word or outside, we will stay faithful to that. We'll serve you. And when we are done, our children spiritually and physically will serve as well. So I celebrate you, sir. I celebrate you dearly. Thank you so much. All right, sir. All right. Praise God. Thank you, sir. All right, everyone. Thank you uh, uh, for being part of this. Now, before you go, um, 
please help me celebrate Reverend K. Go in there and type, thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Dr. K. Um, help me celebrate him. Always celebrate the people through whom God brings you um, his blessings. We've not followed Connelly device fables, folks. Please hear that. We've not followed Connelly device fables. I don't joke with spiritual things. I don't joke with, with, there are a lot of things we could do. We could go paint the road um, and give to the community. We could do a lot of that. And those are good things. But on a day like this, I like to con I like to get the spiritual in place, the substance in place, and spend the rest of my life, you know, doing all the good works. All right. So there's something before we go. Um, one of the things that, as we close this meeting, I want all of us to take with us. First of all, the blessings that you've received today. But secondly, align yourself with God's plan. Let that be something that happened to you. There are so many, I speak by the Spirit of God right now. There are so many decisions being made because of offense, because of anger, because you are unhappy, because you somebody didn't treat you. There are a lot of decisions being made. I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. In my relationship with Reverend K, he will tell you we've had times when, you know, I felt so bad at something he said or did. Times when he felt so offended at something I said or did. It's the nature of relationships. All right. But a lot of people are making decisions. People have gone to start churches out of offense. People have left churches out of offense. People have joined churches out of offense. People have started things out of offense decisions being made as divine direct, divinely directed is critical in this time. God had me say that to all of you. Make, um, find out God's plan and follow it. Forget about everybody else. There is something God has for you. Let this meeting today, let it be, if there's nothing else you took from it, it is number one, find out what God wants for you and follow that plan. And number two, find out the people that God has called you to be part of their lives and treasure them. As I step into this next phase, that's the commitment I am making. Um, I, as, a, as a person that I'm going to more than ever before, even beyond my local assembly, be invested in the lives of those that God has brought along the journey with me, no matter where they are right now. So... Let's 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 do that. Praise God. All right. As we close, some of you have asked me. I got several chats and messages about. Um, let's send us your account number. Where do we send our gifts to? People have asked me what they should buy for me. I said, don't buy me anything. Be in this meeting, okay? Um, so, but as I, I was preparing for this meeting, I felt led of God to give opportunities for people, and not to restrict that. So, um, uh, if uh, my people, uh, uh, technical people, could go ahead and put up my account details. If you feel, if, you are, if those of you have asked for it, um, you can go ahead and do that. I want to pray right now and end this meeting. Um, thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to pray right now. Can you confirm that you can hear me? I, I see Global Online Church is sharing a screen. Confirm that you can hear me. Can hear you, sir. We can hear you, can hear you sir. We can hear you loud and clear. Right. Surayo, uh, the global online church is sharing a screen. I'm not sure what that, that is about, but I guess you know what you're doing. All right. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, every word, every prophecy, every prophetic declaration, everything you've spoken through me, spoken to me through your servant, um, it's not just for me. You asked me to call this meeting so that some people like Elisha can be part of my transition. So Father, I pray right now for everyone that is in this meeting and those who couldn't make it but wanted to be here and those who will in the course of the week uh, uh, watch this and, and participate in this in whatever way. Father, I pray for them that every word declared 
as Elisha to Elijah, that they will receive it in their own lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for clarity of vision, clarity of direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I pray for, Lord, that, that clarity that so that every one of us can be about what you've called us to do so that at the end, this harvest can be reaped for the gospel. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Once again, Amen. I thank all of you. We've tried our best to keep it within time. We've exceeded by 10 minutes. I think it was worth it. Thank you all um, for your time. And um, I that I need for us together, all right? And of course, uh, those of you that have asked for my account details, I wanted to send a gift. The details will be posted. So just follow those details um, and, and do whatever you feel like doing. Hallelujah. I'm done. That's it. The substance is, has happened. And the rest of us can just go ahead and have fun. Thank you very much. This is the greatest 50th birthday I could have had. And I'm grateful to all of you for making it happen. Thank you for showing up. And I know you took time. Some of you is actually midnight where you are. And I want to just celebrate you. So I'm going to release everyone. I'm going to stay back for an, another five to 10 minutes um, for just to have some banter with those of you that will, that can stay behind. Um, the, but please, we are done. Those of you that need to get back to work, because some of you are actually working today, um, can get back to work. Those of you that are need to get back to sleep can get back to sleep. And um, those of us that can hang out and hang around, let's hang around. So I'm going to try and access the, the participants now. Um, so um, Ebenezer, I want to thank you. Ah, Bo um, Ajibola, thank you. Opuda, mommy, on, sir. I, I honor you. I celebrate you. Thank you, Ma, for coming and being part of this. Adeola Shonibare, Tokumbo Adewanyi, you know, Adeola, I celebrate you. Tokumbo, glad that you are here. Adeola, good evening. Good evening. Anderson, nice to see you. Um, I don't know who is AO, but I Happy I, birthday, sir. Sure. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, happy, happy birthday, birthday sir. Thank you. Thank you sir. <laughs> happy birthday, sir. Yes, happy thank birthday, you very much. Daddy. Praise, praise our God tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, sir. 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 Happy birthday, so many people. I celebrate. Very glad, glad to see you. Bola I celebrate all of you. In their destiny. I can't call out all those names. Happy birthday, son. Thank you. Happy birthday, son. 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 Happy birth